Okay, if you want to see something just out of this world today, look to the stars. But you got to hope that the weather clears up a little. CBS 8's Brian White has more on tonight's total lunar eclipse. Something incredible will be happening in the skies above San Diego into the early morning hours tonight. But there's a chance our visibility may be dampened a bit due to the weather we're having. So I talked with an expert about what to expect. But from here on the Earth, we see the moon and it appears to be disappearing as it passes into the shadow of the Earth. Dennis Mamana is an astronomer who now lives in Borrego Springs. But for 18 years, he was the resident astronomer at the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center. He says totality, when the moon is completely covered by the Earth's shadow, will last about an hour and a half. The, the eclipse will begin at uh, 108, and that's when the eastern side of the moon will start to show a bite taken out of it. By 216, you'll have totality, where the moon is completely inside of the shadow of the Earth, and that will continue till about 341. And then the moon will come out of the shadow of the Earth, and it will look like the whole thing is reversing itself. He says during totality, the moon may take on a deep reddish color known as the blood moon, but it all depends. If the atmosphere is fairly clear at that time, reddened sunlight will pass through the atmosphere unaffected, and it will make the moon appear very red. But if there's a lot of dust or volcanic ash or cloud cover in the atmosphere of the Earth, we could have a very dark moon. Now, the big question is, will our weather forecast cooperate, or will it be too cloudy to see? Whether the, there are clouds or not, I would highly recommend getting out there to watch the show. Hopefully, if the clouds are thinner, you'll be able to see it fairly well. But, you know, weather is weather, and we take what we can get. If the clouds block our view here in San Diego, it'll be a while until the next one. We from Southern California will not be seeing a total lunar eclipse until the year 2025. So if you miss this one, you've got a few years to wait for a total eclipse, unless you're willing to travel around the world to see it elsewhere. Brian White, CBS 8.